What's going on, family? How y'all doing on this evening? Listen, the Spirit of God was ministering to me, and I believe he has given me a word to release to y'all on tonight. If I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, it is time. It is time to walk with me faithfully and let go of the pain. It is time to let go of everything that you thought was or should have been. It is time to let go of who you used to be. It is time to let go and it is time to walk with me faithfully, says the spirit of the living God. Listen, in Genesis chapter 17, he told Abraham, I am God Almighty. Walk before me faithfully and be blameless. Then I will make my covenant between me and you and will greatly increase your numbers. So Abraham, it says Abram right now, fell face down and God said to him, as for me, this is my covenant with you. You will be the father of many nations. Somebody received this message on today. No longer will you be called Abram. Your name will be Abraham, for I have made you a father of many nations. I will make you very fruitful. I will make nations of you, and kings will come from you. I will establish my covenant as an everlasting covenant between me and you and your descendants and after you for the generations to come, to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. The whole land of Canaan, where you now reside as a foreigner, I will give as an everlasting possession to you and your descendants after you, and I will be their God. Listen, I hear the Spirit of God saying, some of you watching this right now, you've been anointed as kings and queens and mighty rulers among nations, but there are some things that you are holding on to, even some old identities from your past that you are holding on to that God is saying it's time to let go in this season. Some of you don't realize how big what God has for you actually is. And if you knew how big it actually was, if you knew that you were a prophet, an apostle to the nations, a mighty ruler among the nations, if you, you knew that you were a kingdom leader, if you knew the responsibility and the impact that your assignment has on this world, you would let go of those things. Listen, you noticed Immediately when God was making his covenant with Abraham, he said, your name will no longer be Abram, but your name will be Abraham. So immediately Abraham, what did he do? He stepped into a new identity. Some of you, I decree and declare and want to prophesy into your life that you are stepping into a new identity this season. The things of the past, what is old will stay the old and it will stay dead. The things of the past are fading away, but it's okay because there is a new beginning. There is a new life that God is creating for you. There is a covenant that God wants you to come into agreement with so that not only that new identity can be placed upon your life, but so that everything that God has for you can begin to come into fruition. And I want you to see this too. Even Abraham's wife, God said in verse 15, God also said to Abraham, as for Sarai, your wife, you are no longer to call her Sarai. Her name will be Sarah. So I want you to think about this. The covenant that God made with Abraham was so powerful. Not only did it completely change and transform the identity of Abraham, but it also gave a new identity to everybody that was attached to Abraham as well. Even his wife, Sarai, took on a new identity. So the power of the anointing and the covenant that God has placed upon your life has the power to change and transform even the lives of the people around you. So that everybody around you, whether they're prospering right now or they're not prospering, they have the power and the grace to be fruitful. That is how big the anointing is that God has put upon your life. Think about that. What God has called you to do has the power to shift even the people that are attached to you. Even your descendants, your children, your children's children's children will reap the harvest of the seeds that you are sowing right now. God says, I will punish uh, um, the, the children down to the third and fourth generation. But he said, I will bless a thousand generations for those who love me. That is how powerful your obedience is right now. There are people that have not even been born yet that are waiting on you to become obedient, that are waiting on you to become faithful to the ways of the, of the Lord. There are people that are not even born yet that are waiting on you to let go of the past and come into that new identity, but you have to believe it in this season. Amen. 
I even go down to Genesis chapter 18, and there were three people. And, and what I got from this in Genesis chapter 18, right, Abraham, immediately he showed hospi hospitality to these people. They cooked them some food, and they served it to them. And immediately one of these people, they said, one of them said to Abraham, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah, your wife, will have a son. Sarah, your wife, will have a son. So there's a certain level of obedience and also, watch this, love and servanthood. Servanthood unlocks a different level of grace to fall upon your life. Servanthood, when you serve other people, when you show hospitality, when you serve your church leaders, when you serve the people that you love, there's a different level of favor that falls upon your life because God loves those who want to serve other people. He loves those who want to serve him. So immediately one of these people spoke a prophetic word into Abraham's life. And you notice that Sarah, she was, she was laughing. She was like, she was laughing. She said, at my old age, I'm too old to bear a child. I'm too old to bear a child. But nothing that is spoken by the word of the Lord is too hard for God to do. He said, will I really have a child now that I am, uh, that I am old? Um, then the Lord said to Abraham, why did Sarah laugh and say, will I really have a child now that I am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? I will return to you at the appointed time next year, and Sarah will have a son. You notice when you serve the Lord and you walk faithful in his sight, when you're obedient to what he has called you to do, not only does your identity change, not only do you transform the lives of the people around you, but God is going to send people in your life, and there are going to be words, prophetic words that are spoken into this earth, prophetic words that are spoken into the atmosphere. That the only way that they will not come to pass is if you are disobedient, is if you do not believe in the word that the Lord your God is speaking to you on today. Come on here. Who am I speaking to? Somebody received this message on tonight because I believe there are many of you watching this right now. You've been in a season of supernatural warfare right? You've been in a season of testing. Some of you have, have gotten discouraged. Some of you, the enemy, you've allowed the enemy to get in your mind and drain you out and get you so tired and discouraged to where you feel like, ah, you're starting to feel almost hopeless. Like those, those prophetic words that were spoken over my life, that thing that God showed me, that dream that I have, is that really what God has, like, can this actually happen? Is it, is it too late? Am I in over my head? Do not allow the enemy to get in your head this season. Rebuke those thoughts and cast them down in the mighty name of Jesus because God says there is nothing too hard for me to do. There, there is nothing that is too complicated. There is nothing that is impossible for me to do. The Bible says that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Who am I speaking to on tonight? So the level of servanthood and hospitality that Abraham showed, it unlocked a different level of favor where now people are now speaking prophetic words into Abraham's life. They're speaking things into the earth, speaking things that will come to pass. And all you have to do is come into agreement and come into obedience to God. And no matter how far-fetched, no matter how crazy it sounds to other people, no matter how crazy it sounds to you, you might be thinking, look where I come from. How could I accomplish this? How could I be a prophet and an apostle to the nations? I don't even have no college degrees. I don't even have no fancy education. I didn't even grow up with money. I didn't even grow up with favor. But listen, the supernatural favor of the Lord is greater than any favor that any man can give you on this earth. If the Lord speaks it, there is nobody in this earth that can stop it from coming to pass. No matter how far-fetched, no matter how crazy it seems, no matter how impossible it seems to other people, if you believe in the word of the Lord your God, it will come to pass. And God says, I am about to make you a father of many nations. Come on here, somebody. I will make you very fruitful. I will make nations of you, and kings will come from you. Some of you watching this right now, you are going to be somebody that has the gift and the anointing to also train and equip and build up the next generation of chosen people that are going to do the works of the Lord. There are going to be people, generations from now, that are still reaping the harvest of the seeds that you are sowing right now. So what type of seeds are you sowing? I love y'all and God bless. Come on, let's get it.